but we're stubborn. We tenaciously cling to the old ways. Worse, we are unconscious, unaware of most of our sinful nature and of its practices within us. We have hidden from our own flesh, Isaiah 58, verse 7. Therefore, the law must come. The old must be taken down and utterly destroyed before the new can arise. Before any man, woman, or child can truly be made alive in Christ, the law must utterly expose to them that without God, they are a criminal against the Holy One, guilty of cosmic treason, and utterly hopeless without the cross where there hangs the crucified One, Jesus Christ. Before the mouth of a person can confess Jesus Christ as Lord, the Bible says that the law must first close our mouths in true humility and repentance. Romans chapter 3, verse 9 says this, the law came so that every man might be shut up before God because we are without excuse. Paul realized that before the perfect law of God, we stand condemned. The law is good and righteous and perfect, but I am not. We fall. And so the Bible says this, So Lord, if you should count sin, who could stand before you? That same author goes on to say this, Only when pride and self-confidence were shattered could the good news of the cross be heard. The bad news clears the way for the good news. The law reveals what is there in terms of sin, but 